In this video, we will show you how to generate and send invoices automatically using the SharePoint workflow. The invoice will be generated and sent as soon as a new item is added to the list. Such a workflow cannot be created using standard actions and conditions which are available in SharePoint and we will use some actions added by SharePoint workflow extension for SharePoint. Previously, we have created a template of invoice and stored it in shared documents. We use content control elements in such field as invoice number, client, address, price, etc. Besides, a list with relevant columns was created in SharePoint along with the column for the client's email address. This is the address our workflow will send the generated invoice to. Before sending the invoice by email, it is necessary to copy the template filled with data and convert the invoice into a PDF file. We have created a document library called Invoices, where the workflow will send same invoices. Let's start creating workflow. First, we should set automatic startup of the workflow after a new element has been added to the list. To copy the invoice template, we should use the copy or move documents actions from the Hairpoint Activities document library activity group. A link to the document template should be specified in the parameters for this activity. The new file should be placed into the document library invoices. The invoice number will be used as the file name. Now we use the update board document action. This action is located in the Hairpoint Activities Office category. To replace content control values in the document with the value of relevant fields of the new element in the document library, we select content control as the parameter. Then we are indicating which document should be updated. Next, we indicate data that should be added to the field. The remaining fields are filled the same way. Now, we need to add an action to convert the update document into a PDF file. To do this, we will use the convert document action. This action is located in the Hairpoint Activities document conversion category. The previously filled out invoice is used as the parameter. Execution of this action will take a while, so we need to suspend workflow until the conversion is finished. In order to do this, we will use the wait conversion job action. After that, we will have two invoice files and the board document has to be deleted by using the delete item at URL action from the list category. The path to this document should be specified as the parameter.
Now we should add an action to send the generated invoice by email. The send email with document as attachment action from the Hairpoint Activities email category will be used. The to address is taken from the new element which was added into the list. Now we will specify the message subject with the invoice number. Then we will specify the path to the generated PDF invoice. The workflow is ready it should be saved and published. Now let's put our workflow into action to see how it works. Add a new element to the library. Put the invoice number, the client name and other details include the email address the invoice has to be sent to. Now, let's take a look at the workflow history. Processing was finished. Message was sent successfully. We see the email message with the necessary subject. And a PDF attachment where we see data filled in through the workflow. The file, saved as a PDF, can be found in the document library invoices. I hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.